Hi, welcome to Fun Math. Today we're going to be talking about events that are not equally likely. And we're going to also talk about impossible and certain events. Here you can see seven numbers from one to seven. And you know that these numbers, one to seven, are all natural numbers. Okay, so let's first see the pro probability of getting an odd number, which is 4 over 7. How did we get 4 as our numerator? Let's find out. Okay, so, so there, we got 4 as a numerator because how many odd numbers are there? There are 1, 2, 3, and 4. That is why we got our numerator as 4. And those are all the possibilities of odd numbers. Now let's see how we got our denominator as 7. So there are 7 total numbers here. And the and we are, and the most possibilities here that are 7 are 7. So that's why we have 7 as our denominator. So now let's find the probability of getting an even number. We got 3 over 7. So how did we get 3 as our numerator? We got 3 as our numerator because there are 3 even numbers here. What are the three even numbers here? Let's find out. So, what are the even numbers? You know that two is an even number. One, four is an even number, which is the second, and six is an even number. So how many even numbers are there? One, two, and three. So there are three even numbers. That's why we have three as a numerator. And those are all the possibilities for getting an even number. Okay, let's find, uh, let's see why we got 7 as a denominator. You can see that the total number here is R7. That, and those are all the possibilities. That's why we have 7 as a denominator, and which became 3 over 7. If we see here that for, for the, the probability of getting an odd number is 4 over 7 and the probability of getting an even number is 3 over 7. You can see that they're not equally, they're not equally events. So that, so we call them as not equally likely events. So now let's talk about the probability of getting 8, which is 0 over 7. How did we get 0 over 7? So let's first find out how we got 0 as our numerator. How did we get 0 as our numerator? We got 0 as our numerator because you can see that there is no 8 in this set. Uh, there's It's only 1 through 7. So that's why there is no 8. So that's why we have 0 as our numerator. Why do we have 7 as our denominator? It's the same thing. It's the total possibilities. So 0 over 7 is nothing but just 0. And those are all. And the, the probability of getting 8 is an impossible event. Okay. Now let's find out the probability of a natural number, of getting a natural number, which gave us 7 over 7. How do we get 7 as our numerator? We got 7 as our numerator because how many natural numbers are there? There are 7 natural numbers that are 1 through 7. So that's why we have 7 as our numerator. Now let's find out why we got 7 as our denominator. We got 7 as a denominator because there are 7 total, 7 total equally numbers here.
That's why we got seven as a denominator. Seven over seven is nothing but just one. And that is, and the probability of getting a natural number is nothing but just a certain event. All right, let's review what we learned today. We learned about the events that are not equally likely. And we also talked about the impossible and certain events. So we talked about the probability of getting of getting odd numbers that gave us four over seven and the prob the probability of getting an even number which gave us three over seven. And if you looked closely that here these two fractions are not the same. So that's what we call them not equally likely events. So and down here we saw the probability probability of getting eight and we got zero over seven. We knew that that there was no eight. That's why we ha, we got zero as our numerator. And we got seven as our bottom because as our denominator because there are seven numbers in total possibilities. And the probability of getting eight was an impossible event. And the, prob the probability of getting a natural number was seven over seven, which gave us one. And the probability of getting a natural number was a certain event. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.